Hey guys, Brother Monroe here, and welcome back to um, Ultimate Animal Dreadnoughts. Now today, uh, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm you to doing one of my Shipbuilding 101 videos. Uh, if you haven't seen any of my other ones, uh, you can find them all uh, on the channel if you just type in uh, 101 uh, into my search. Uh, they should all come up. Um, and today we're focusing on firepower. And what is the firepower sweet spot? Because for me, there is uh, a number of main guns here, I'm talking, that gives you a good balance of uh, firepower. Like it gives you plenty of firepower. Um, and there's a few different layouts. So for me, the layouts that tend to work best are, well, historical ones. There's a reason that they were successful. So if I just take this ship as an example, uh, and we'll just use some 15-inch guns for this, uh, the kind of first one is to go for four twin guns, like so. So the four twin setup gives you eight barrels total. Its main advantage is that this is the most accurate main armament you can get. So if you compare um, these two, you don't really see too much of a difference, but there is a little bit of a difference in terms of accuracy. They also reload faster. Um, so this setup gives you a more accurate faster hitting ship. It also means that you have the same firepower forwards as back, and most of your firepower is on your broadsides. And provided you design the towers quite well, you can attack at an angle sort of like this. So you can see with this rear tower, it has a very good arc of fire. Uh, the one, main one that's limited are the A and B turrets, um, but you can fix that by moving them a bit further forward. And then you'll see you have a pretty good range of fire. So if you spread your turrets out, um, you could attack based on X here. You could attack at a, an angle like this, and all your guns could fire. And you'd have a nice angle to get ricochets and things like that. Uh, similarly, you can sail away from the enemy and still have quite a lot of firepower. You can sail next to them and still have lots of firepower. It's a very balanced uh, type of ship. The next type is to go for triple guns. Now, this gives you three triple guns, gives you the most firepower you are going to get uh, because in the firepower sweet spot anyway because you have nine barrels the other two only have eight however um this this was a very popular build for a reason that you don't lose too much accuracy going up to three barrels you do lose a little bit of uh, rate of fire uh, but you gain an extra barrel which more than makes up for it uh, so this is the highest firepower it's also um a pretty flexible design You've got most of your armament facing forward. Your rear turret, which you can place quite far back, gives you better angles of attack than the uh, two uh, barrel setup. And you have a powerful broadside. So this is a very, very nice setup. And there's a reason that historically battleships tended to go for this type of setup. And by the way, this does apply to uh, smaller ships uh, down to light cruisers as well. Uh, it's just it's easiest to show with a battle. And the last one, best shown off by going for a, one of the uh, more interesting French hulls, is for a double quad turret setup. Now, uh, if you've watched any of my other videos, you'll know I'm, I'm actually a big fan of this uh, type of setup. So this is... I like this ship because all of its firepower is directed forwards. You lose reload time, you lose accuracy. These ship, if you build a ship like this with the double quad up front, this is a highly aggressive ship. 
that is designed to go straight at the enemy um, and close in and blap them with high power guns. Note as well, the A turret, if you put it far enough forward, does have a pretty good range of motion. So only if an enemy is right behind you will you not be able to shoot at it with them. some of your main armour. But it is much weaker for sailing away from the enemy. Obviously, if you're broadside on, you still get the eight guns. Um, but it allows for an attack angle that is head on. And that is useful because, if I turn it to look head on, if this is the profile of the ship that the enemy is looking at, then when you're building your armor scheme, um, you want to, you can, you can build a quite, you can build your ship in a clever way. Basically, if you have pretty strong turret armor, pretty strong extended belt armor, which is these bits here, and a reasonably strong deck extended. So if you focus on these three armor sliders here, or not, they're not sliders, but you know what I mean, then you can have a ship that when it's attacking the enemy is very difficult to damage, especially if you also add armor onto the tower. Um, and because you're attacking like this, Ricochets are extremely common. Because if a shell strikes you kind of on the hull here, it will glance off. Um, shells striking you here will glance off. Even shells coming, kind of plunging down onto the deck are quite likely to skip off. Um, and you can survive hits that you really shouldn't be able to um, by building this type of ship. So this is the, this is a very aggressive type. Um, and a much more of a specialist role than the other two. But that is basically what I'm talking about when I talk about a firepower sweet spot. How do you uh, how do you how do you distribute the firepower around the ship? And for me, it's either two, uh, four twin turrets, three triple turrets, or two quad turrets. Now there is one more variant on the quad turret setup, which is to have one at the front and one at the back. This setup is very nice if you want to have a lot of kind of secondaries up on these towers. You don't want to include any of the these barbettes. Um, perhaps you want to build a particularly small ship. Um, and this is basically a, uh, a different way of doing the four twin. Um, you lose out on accuracy, you lose out on rate of fire. Um, but you gain space. It's quite sp space efficient. So this this is can be effective if you want to build uh, small battleships where you can't fit things on um, barbettes or you don't want to. Uh, or in this case, you know, you might have... Actually, I think this barbette can fit 15s, can't it? Yeah, it can. Um, but let's say you had a barbette that couldn't fit your main guns... Uh, the thickness one if you go for the Dreadnought 4. So yeah, you could build a Dreadnought 4 like this and then realize, oh, I really want to use the two best towers, but my 15-inch guns don't fit. Oh, well, I'll just go for two quads and then I can put secondary guns on those little bubbit things that stick out. Um, so this is uh, another way of uh, doing the two quad turret arrangement by having one forward, one back, and kind of prioritizing second. If you want to have your towers for secondary armament, um, or you could have a weird version where I think if I go, I get 30, uh, 14 inch quads on here. No, but um, if you had towers that fitted them, you, you could have two quad guns up. And then all your secondaries on the deck or torpedoes or something like that, if you're doing a wacky build like that. But overall, for me, uh, it's either four doubles, three triples, or two quads that are that is the best setting. By the way, um, this mixture of turret types, I don't recommend simply because whilst it will kind of give you a continuous firepower, uh, there's a couple of quirks of the game that mean you don't probably don't want to do this. Uh, one is that the ammunition for each of these will now be separate. They'll be considered separate gun systems 
you can't share the ammunition. Whereas if you have them all the same, they will share the ammunition. And that is super useful. For instance, if your rear turret can't fire, then they, they can transport the shells magically. Something I don't know. But it, it helps. Uh, the other thing uh, is your accuracy, your gun accuracy increases, you know, when they're, when the guns are aiming uh, based on how many shots you can fire. So your ranging shots, each turret will fire like two shells, um, which is another advantage of going for the twin turret setup because when you're firing your ranging shots, you can you basically fire all your guns anyway. Um, but uh, if you go for this mixed setup, each system has to look separately, which is a bit of, an, a, bit of a pain, to be honest. So if you're going to... Um, if you're thinking about this kind of thing, um, you could also check, you might as well consider changing the caliber and having uh, primary, secondary guns and so on. Anyway, I hope you uh, have found that illuminating. Um, so for balance, again, I would say four twins, three triples, or two quads, depending on how you want to set it up. But, of course, that doesn't mean you can't do silly things in Ultimate Admiral, because the game is not the world's most realistic thing. And there is, of course, nothing stopping you from sticking an absolute metric ton of quad guns everywhere. For instance, here we have um, four of them. <laughs> There's nothing in stopping you doing this, but if you look at my uh, Triangle Dilemma video, uh, you'll see that if you put this much weight, this much weight into your guns, see how I'm all weighted up to 90% of the displacement, uh, you will struggle to have an adequately protected ship that is able to travel at good speed. So if you're wondering, oh, how do I make sure I've got a, a round about the right amount of firepower, think to yourself, right, how many guns do I have? Is it eight or nine? Uh, main guns, that is. If I go over that, then I have a high firepower ship, but I'm going to have to sort of sacrifice something else. If you go for less than um, eight barrels, then you will have an underpowered ship, um, which will have to have something else to compensate, like speed or protection or something. Uh, so when you're building your ships, um, again, I'm mainly thinking about the campaign here. Four twins, three triples, or two quads are ideal for your main, uh, your main battery. And if you're wondering what caliber to use, then I recommend you go and look at my rule of three video where I explain uh, what gun caliber I permit. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. No, uh, actually, you know what? Uh, search to see what the AI comes up with. Wow. So the AI has uh, just broken all the rules. Wow, that's a really crazy ship. T loads of 10-inch guns. Right, let's just try it for fun. <laughs> if, if you enjoyed this video, um, please give it a like. Um, my uh, tutorial-type videos never do quite as well as the regular ones. Um, so I do appreciate any support you show. I'm kind of hoping that they'll sit there and become useful later on when more and more people have the game. And, and of course, um, if you are watching this in the far future, um, this was recorded under Alpha 10. Um, I don't expect this particular aspect of the game to change um, because it's very much based in history. Um, my kind of conclusions, um, you know, it, th those designs did end up becoming the most successful, the most copied. Uh, designs. Um, people did experiment with other designs like the quad quad twin setup of the KG five class ships for the British, for instance, um, which is one of my all-time favourite ships. Which breaks this rule. So you know what? Do do what you go crazy. But if you're wondering, you know, how do I uh, balance out my firepower? What, what what do I do in terms of main guns? Your total beginner. That is my recommendation um, to start off with. See which one suits your playstyle best as well. Do you prefer the accurate 
uh, fast firing, flexible uh, twin setup? Do you prefer the kind of maximum firepower of the triple setup? Or do you like the highly aggressive um, forward attacking quad setup? Or maybe you're a fan of the, the, uh, the balanced quads. Uh, so you can get extra secondary guns in. Anyway, I'll be fascinated to hear your thoughts and your read your comments. So please do in the down below just say how uh, how you like to set up your ships. Are you an orc <laughs> like the AI here, who just thinks that mod Daka is better Daka? Good for you. <laughs> <laughs> or are you like the other AI today who has gone for two triples? Right, great. And a weird thing on a bobbit. Why? 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 Oh, nothing. Okay. Another another ship for me to talk about. Yeah, there we go. Okay, there is an AI who has listened with four twin guns. Lovely. Mwah. <laughs> what about his uh, cruisers? No, 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 just... Well, I don't know, are they four twins? No, he's gone for an extra one. And some other weirdness. Anyway, uh, don't build ships like the AI. Build ships like a pro. Thanks very much for watching, and I hope to see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Bye-bye.